Thank you very much for the introduction. So, I'm going to talk about also the database based on the semantic web technology. So, first of all, I mentioned about the definition of orthodox. Originally, the orthodox are defined as gene pairs diverged by speciation. So, in this example, evolutionary scenario, these pairs shown in red lines are orthodox. So uh, these gene pairs can be clustered into a, a set of genes. So the resulting uh, set of genes are called orthodox group. <coughs> and uh, we have our own orthodox database called NBGD. Which, which mainly focus <coughs> on uh, microbial genomes. And uh, it's one of its unique characteristics is um, it provides the uh, also groups at um, domain level. I mean, uh, also are defined at subgene level. So it provides um, um, flexible uh, web interface, but to enhance the usability of this database, we created an RDF version of uh, MVGD database. So, um, as, the, as a basis of the RDF model, we created an orthodox ontology. Um, so, um, this um, ontology is a compact ontology for general use, but it can be um, extensible for describing more specific um, concepts, uh, for example, MBG specific concepts, and so on. And uh, selected terms are basically uh, compatible with also XML, uh, which is um, proposed as a, as a standard in the Oslog research community. So uh, basically, the data set described in OSXML can be also um, described in uh, RDF. So uh, in the case of MBGD, um, uh, we created MBGD specific terms as subclasses of Oslog ontology terms. For example, um, there is an MBGD domain class which is defined as a subclass of sequence unit. And this class can be used for describing um, domain level ontology in MBGD database. And using these ontologies, um, I created um, <coughs> RDF version of uh, MBGD datasets. <coughs> also, we uh, created um, um, other RDF files. For example, uh, we described Agnom database, which is also a uh, also a database. And, and so we did, I, uh, I described the Agnom dataset in RDF. So we can. Uh, compare the MPGD author group and the EGNOG author group um, by using uh, Spark query. And I also um, created gene ontology annotation uh, idea or uh, taxonomy <coughs> idea. And, and I also imported uh, general ontology such as sequence ontology or SIO. So using this uh, ontology, uh, this ontology and um, data sets, we can um, execute um, various um, integrative analysis by Sparkle. So for um, easy access to the Sparkle endpoint, um, I developed, uh, we, we prepared a um, portal site of a Sparkle search. 
So in this page, we can see the MPGD RDF model, and also uh, these are examples of public queries. And uh, <coughs> the, the, these examples are clickable, and uh, the Sparkle queries can be executed dynamically. And there are also some pointers to uh, details of ontologies or RDF archives and documentations. And uh, of course, we can um, access the Sparkle endpoint by using the user's own programs. So here, I, I will show an example where um, our environment is used with Sparkle package. So uh, here, um, uh, firstly, also logs related to a specific geo term in this case, bacterial type flagellum uh, are retrieved. So the resulting author groups are listed here. And uh, next, the uh, list of organisms included in each author group are obtained, mm -hmm. and uh, the list of organisms are summarized as a uh, final level of the taxonomy tree. So we can see the phylogenetic patterns uh, of each author group, and we can compare the phylogenetic pattern between author groups. So we can see, uh, for example, specific phylogenetic patterns, and uh, uh, for example, uh, um, these author groups are uh, existing in no motile bacteria. So it, um, <coughs> it's strange because the flagellum proteins are existing in no motile bacteria. But actually, these genes are known to be a specific secretion uh, system. So, um, uh, uh, <coughs> the phylogenetic uh, patterns are related to um, gene functions. So this is an example where um, uh, data set collected from various data sources can be used for integrative analysis of genomic resources. So we are also working for standardization of the RDF uh, description of author of information. This is the uh, picture of uh, meeting called Quest for Orthodox held in last year. And uh, I met um, Yashwal in this meeting and we discussed about the RDF description of the orthodox information. And, uh, and um, um, we, we made a, a working group for a, um, RDF description of orthodox. And uh, I'm happy to discuss more about this biohackathon. So um, I will present some preliminary results for uh, some um, translation between um, similar ontologies. The, actually, our <coughs> also ontology and OGO ontology have some similar concepts. So uh, and and uh, our data set is basically described in, by described in also so how how can we access to this data set using these uh, different ontologies so we uh, created some links between this similar similar corresponding concepts between these ontologies using um, um, uh, as a uh, equivalent <coughs> class or subclasses so um, the corresponding terms are dynamically translated by the inference mechanism of virtual so, so we can um, speak in any language against the uh, specific database. And finally, I will introduce uh, um, the in database integration project in Japan. And uh, um, in the micro, specifically in the microdb.jp project, 
uh, organized by the um, um, Thai Tech team. Uh, we, we are trying to integrate various uh, microbial data sources distributed across the web and based on the semantic web technology. So we are, we are also going to um, uh, working work on this uh, integration in this file hackathon. So this work is supported by Database Integration Coordination Program and NBDC and I, I'd like to thank the collaborators for your comments and discussions. Thank you.